heat embossing. Have you tried it? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you different tips and techniques for how to heat emboss. So let's get started. Here is my heat embossing gun. And here are several embossing powders. I bought these. These were my very first sets of embossing powders. I think they're from Stupendous, but I can't remember for sure. But basically, embossing powder is tiny little bits of plastic, and they melt when heat is applied. So there are those, and a couple of these I got from Hero Arts Kits. This is copper embossing powder. They've got the red sparkly. I use that for Christmas. We have, this is metallic gold super fine. Green for St. Patrick's Day usually, or Christmas and gold. Same thing. And then we also have clear as well as the regular white detail. But this is clear, so we're going to be um, doing something with that too. I'm going to stamp a stamp with ink and then cover this with clear and then I'm going to heat that up and it's going to make a beautiful, beautiful sentiment. There's another one from Hero Arts. And then here's Elizabeth Crafts. I bought most of these from uh, the Recollections brand is from Michaels. And then also, this is called an embossing buddy. It's basically just cornstarch that helps take static away. This is my Versamark ink. It's a clear ink, sticky, and so that the embossing powder can stick. I'll show you how all that works. So let's get started. Okay, let's start with my oldest set and see how they do. This is my red one. I have a Celebrate stamp here. I'm going to be using my embossing buddy before I stamp to make sure there's not going to be any static to where the powder will stick where I don't want it. So let's take my VersaFine, or VersaMark, I mean, and stamp, or put the ink on just like usual, and then stamp. Well, there's a little bit of green on it. I'm not sure why. But you, I don't know how well you can see the actual word, but there it is. Okay, now we're going to sprinkle on our embossing powder. And I have this here to catch it, and I can put it back in the container. We use very, very little, so it lasts for a long time. Then we shake it off, tap it off. And if it doesn't get good coverage the first time, just go back in and grab some more. And then tap it off again. And I have a little brush that if I get somewhere I didn't want it, I can gently, gently brush it away. Well, there we go. That E is going to be, sometimes it's too close, but there, there we have it there. Now, before we turn on the heat gun, I want to go ahead and put the powder back in. Go 
hold it with tweezers so I don't burn my hand. Let's get it nice and hot. I'll let this start in the back. The paper will warp, so I go back and forth. There we go, it's starting to melt already. Okay, it went really quickly. Okay, good. I don't know if you can see the, uh, the shiny. There we go. There we go, yes. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. Now let's try with, I'm gonna stamp with red ink, but I'm going to use clear embossing powder. Okay, this is just VersaFine Clear Tulip Red. I'm gonna stamp like usual. Let me put it on this one so we can compare. Okay, it's a less of a red, more of an orange, but this is clear embossing powder. So we're going to put that on. I used my embossing buddy earlier in case you thought I didn't use it. I used it earlier over the entire piece. So it's hard to tell if I covered any, if I got everything covered, it done that. Okay. All right, so our heat gun is already warmed up, so hopefully this will go quickly as well. See that? Very pretty. See if I can make it shine. There we go. There we go. Yes. How about that? Beautiful. So that's the clear. Now I do seem to have more heating time issues with the glittery. So let's let's go ahead and try that. But uh, like I said, I have my heating gun um, pretty warmed up. So let's try our clear ink with another stamp. Let's do happy anniversary in gold. My granddaughter's anniversary is coming up next month. They will be married a year. Oh, what didn't I do? I did not. <laughs> I did not use my embossing buddy, did I? 
Okay, let's try that again. Okay. And now we're going to use gold. They overlapped on each other, but this is just for um, showing you, so. As you can see, the uh, my desk gets pretty crazy with all the, the powder and the glitter and everything. All right, let's start up again. Hopefully you can see it turn. There it goes. There it goes. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. Okay. Very, very nice. We have all these different colors and finishes. Like I said, we've got the glitter. We've got the matte. Just absolutely gorgeous. So, if you like my content and you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I have a lot of fun uh, things we do from cards to composition books to the embossing tips and tricks. So stay tuned and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.